This is Ian from In 30 Minutes Guides, and I've been a Twitter user for more than 15 years. Twitter is now called X, and today I'm going to be talking about how to mute names or words in your Twitter timeline on X in 2024. If this video helps, please subscribe and like the video. Let's get started. So uh, Twitter or X or whatever you call it has a really neat tool to basically mute certain words. And let's say that I'm tired of seeing mentions of Ghostbusters in my timeline. And it could be a name of somebody. It could be a term like Ghostbusters. It could even be something common like an adjective or you know, a uh, preposition or whatever, like here, but I'm just gonna not, I just don't want Ghostbusters to show up in my timeline. Here's how to do it. Go to more, then select settings and support, settings and privacy, and then privacy and safety, and then mute and block. And there's a couple options here, muted accounts, muted words. I'm gonna do muted words. And you can see I've already muted National Pet Day, probably because it was really irritating me whenever National Pet Day was. I'm going to click the plus symbol to add something, and I'm just gonna type Ghostbusters. And then you have some options here. This is important, make sure you get the right one. I don't want anybody to be mentioning this term. Not just people that I, that I don't follow, anyone. That includes people I follow or even like. And by the way, I don't have anything against Ghostbusters. I'm just using this as an example, but this is how I would do it if I really wanted to ban Ghostbusters. And then the duration, Make sure it says until you unmute the word is selected. If it's something like National Pet Day or an event, you could actually do it for 30 days or seven days or 24 hours, but I just want to permanently, permanently uh, block that particular term on X. I'm going to click save and then basically muted words. When I mute the words, you won't get any new notifications for posts that include them or see them in your home timeline. That's exactly what I want. And if I wanted to turn it off, I'd click that. This is Ian signing off. If this video helped, please take a moment to like it or subscribe on YouTube. And for more information, check out the links in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching.